live. All right, everybody. Good evening. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. Welcome to Hot Book Alert Live. We got Mercer not here. <laughs> that means anything and we got mr long short i'm i'm sure whatever your name means mine means much less. <laughs> so, uh, thank you uh the fact that you have nothing better to do tonight um i guess makes me feel better about myself so uh right on anyways we're, so, we're gonna go through some hot books yes sir so uh mr long short he slingshotted back from Germany within a week, within like three days, man, it was like oh. in and out. It was crazy. So that that seems that seems like extra stressful. It's sorry, right. I actually it? like the shorter. Like one of these things when you go on a vacation, like you mm -hmm. start to like reach the point you're like, all right, I'm sick of this. I want to get home, kind of thing. Okay. Like these like these three day things. You don't know, like you don't have enough time to get that feeling. You just kind of get yeah. in, get out. And you kind of let, uh, left feeling pretty good about it. So, uh, yeah, that's what it was. I had some work to do. I couldn't take that many days off. Uh, my boys wanted to go see a soccer match in Munich and uh, pulled together on short notice. So uh, it was a blast. Uh, awesome. Popped into a comic book shop, grabbed a couple of books, got this hat. I'm not. Let me know what you think about this hat in the chat. Good? No good? I want to. I, I like want to blow. I want to blow you up, but I'm not. I don't know how. Yeah, I don't worry about. Blowing <laughs> I, I did, I'm afraid, like if I touch anything that I'm not used to touching, like everything is just gonna fall apart. I just grabbed two books while I was there. German version of Daredevil number five, the variant cover by Casada. Always love this book. I think it's underrated by modern standards. I was happy to find it for two euro, which is basically two bucks. And then Fantastic Four, what's this, 49? Um, uh, this is the German version, came out in the um, early 60s. I think the, that's 51. 51? I okay. believe it's 51. I thought it was 40, but 48, I 48, 49, maybe 50? 50, what was it, 40, 48, 49, 50. Those, okay. are, those are the three, right? The Galactus. Galactus, books. first Galactus cover is 49, and... This is the first Silver Surfer cover, I think. Okay, so f either 50 or 51. Yeah, so um, for, for 10 euro, so basically 10 bucks. So, uh, yeah, nice. good trip. Happy to be home, happy Hell to be yeah. back. And, uh, yeah, um, thanks for tuning in. You know what? I feel fancy when I, like go on a road trip like take like a four-hour road trip and then come back home i i feel fancy doing that and <laughs> your ass is leaving the continent yeah it's it's just a lot of time sleeping on planes I, it's not so fancy but uh yeah yeah dude how was your sleep how was your rest um so the problem with this traveling to europe is when you take a late flight you like so i left boston at six okay. and got to uh flew to frankfurt Got there at 7 a.m. Like you had seven hours to get some sleep in, right? Okay. If you don't cram in some sleep, then like you're fucked all day long. So I probably got I probably got three hours on that flight, which isn't bad. Um, and then we had a full day when we landed. So um, you know, it's basically you're you're basically running like a day and a half on no sleep. Um we landed at seven, we did a bunch of shit, went to go see some castles and stuff in the middle of nowhere. Didn't get back to my hotel until 9 p.m. Had some dinner. I, I, I just crashed. I, I was out like a light. Um, and then we got up first thing in the morning, did some stuff, caught the soccer match, and then we came back the next day. So um, um, it was, it was, it was when I was sleeping, I was sleeping fine, but it was just not a lot of time to get much sleep in. But uh, hmm. good trip, good trip all, overall. Um, had a lot of fun, and I wish I could have done a little bit more digging, but uh, you do what you can. Okay, sounds good. All right. Okay, so me, I think I went to no, 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 no. I went to a um, went to a convention this weekend. Uh, found some books. I did find something that was we uh, uh, Ben and I talked about this. Uh, I found a thumbnail worthy book that we'll uh we'll uh we'll talk about in a future haul video 
and I made a ton of eBay purchases for like uh, Transformers, <laughs> for sealed Transformers. So uh, hopefully we'll get those in the mail uh, in so at some point in time. But as far as like finding any more comics, I didn't I didn't even go anywhere this week outside of that convention. So I, I got lazy again. Yeah, I didn't do. I wasn't able able to do much digging this weekend either. I had I grabbed a couple of books at a store I hit every Friday, and uh, grabbed a couple there, but but didn't get didn't get out. There was a little con at a at a, like a like a, like a brewery not too far from me, and I was going to try to get there today, and wasn't able to put it together. So uh, we'll see what next weekend brings. Yeah, from what I understand, there was like um, conventions going on. Like there was a convention going on last weekend, which I didn't know anything about. And Isn't then, that weird, man? When you when like when you when like you'd think like at this point you'd know everything going on in your backyard, and like like what like the, you know? Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I think I I could have swore I'm like ear to the street, in tune with everything that's like comic book related, and no, no. Stuff Fair is just enough. like, yeah, everything's just kind of happening right under my nose, and I don't know a damn thing. But uh, yeah, you know what? It's all good either way. Probably save some money. All right. So you guys are here for some cool comic book sales. I'll tell you what, man. There was a lot going on this week, and it was so hard to narrow things down as far as um, uh, just you know, just selecting, curating the right comics for this list here. So, you know, but we'll, we're doing our best. We'll have <laughs> interesting shit to talk about for sure. Oh, just right. Yeah, for sure. Let's get into it. Let's start things off with some golden age love. Ooh. So the first uh, the first book on hot Bach alert, we're, we're, uh, we're keeping... We're keeping uh, the Bach as a nice little callback. Um, we have True to Life Romances, number 13. So this is from 1952, uh, L.B. Cole cover. For whatever reason, this is a romance book, but this thing looks like almost like a horror. It looks like a, almost looks like a horror cover, doesn't it? Yeah, like yeah, it does. Um, like some... <laughs> This book is actually like the intersection of horror, uh, war, and romance, like kind of all just like mashed into one, into one book. Mm -hmm. It's got everything. Beautiful LB Cole. Um, I would say this. Okay, so uh, either last week or a couple of weeks ago, we kind of made the comparison to LB Cole, and um, and uh, who was the guy? Matt Baker. Yeah, I mean, I, for me, Baker is 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 a clear cut mm -hmm. above, and that's no no disrespect to LB Cole because I know he's, um, you know, hugely respected and hugely collected. Um, but for my money, Baker is just playing a little a level above for me. Yeah, yeah, but there's something about this one. It's very um... oh, his, yeah. I, mean, I don't, I don't want to. Like, don't take that as a diss on mm -hmm. Cole. It's just for sure, because you know, because they're kind of spoken about with the same reverence. Yeah, I feel like. Um, but um, but yeah, um, Baker's uh, Baker's my first choice. But there's there's nothing wrong with this. It's beautiful. The colors, the composition, subject matter. It's just a uh, just a beautiful beautiful mashup. All right, so let's take a look at that census. Fourteen total. And it looks like 14, man. That's it. Jesus, that's crazy. It looks like the highest 9 2 9 9 uh, 9 9 0. Yeah, like a 9 2 ish 9 0, 9 2. But uh, let's see. So we had a CGC 6.0 sell for $825. Seems cheap. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll tell you what, let's get a look as best we can at this. 
So this is a six. There's something about that face, that that this red face here. Like this, this is hella haunting right here. Yeah, that's what really that's what really catches your eye when you look at this. Mm-hmm. Man, the colors in this are really good. Yeah, this uh, very deep. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous cover, gorgeous copy. Let's see. Oh, well, you know what? I think yeah, we can get a better look. From this angle here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Make a deal with the devil. Man. Beautiful. The back. The back is nice and clean. Wow. Yeah. That's all you can. That's weird. That's all I can never hope for with. Um, a golden age book like this, just the if even the back is just clean, I'd be happy with that. A solid nice. book, yeah, solid book with a very clean cover, clean back cover, too. I think that was a pretty good pickup, um, to be honest with you, for the price, man. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what this book, you know. Has gone for Ghost War or has gone. There's for not it. enough graded sales to really even like being able to determine. Like when we're talking about 14 graded copies, mm -hmm. it doesn't move enough to really, you know, piece that together. Yeah. But, um, but I think that was a pretty savvy pickup for an LB Cole. God. All right. Beautiful cover, man. All right. Let's move on to the next book Ghost number wow. 10. From 1950. I love it. I love this book. I love this book. So, uh, uh, Fiction House, Golden Age Horror, uh, Maurice Whitman cover. Let's take a look at that census. So, what, 70 total? More than I would have guessed. Yeah. This is. When did they start doing horror? At what, like, what year? It was like in the. It was. Yeah, I mean, it was it was in the late forties, early fifties. Yeah, it hadn't been going on that long before Such the a good um, book. This one, man. Yeah. There's a bunch of these ghost books that are just eye catching. And so we have a CGC 4.0 cell for six hundred and thirty five bucks. Not a bad deal. Wow. This looks pretty clean. I mean, I, we haven't zoomed in yet, but I mean, this, there's nothing at first glance that's really screaming messed up to me on this one. I mean, that's clean, man. Colors. You know what, man? There is a lot going on. Look at these people in the back. Yeah. Like the, the level of detail for the people in the background. I mean, just look at the, the head pile of skulls there. Right? Yeah. There's a lot going on with this cover. Wow. I think I can save her, y'all. You got the wolf man in the back. You got those you got this wolf man. You got the lady in the dress, hot blonde in the dress, the skull, the skeleton. It's got it all. It's got it all. Hell yeah. I mean, okay, so what did this sell for? Six hundred something? Six thirty five? Yeah. Damn. This I mean that's a it's a crisp four point oh. Unless there's something fucked up inside or something. I mean, the back is... Look at that back! Look at that freaking back! Okay, we looked at a book uh, a couple shows ago. It was like a 4.5. And that was the worst looking 4.5 I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> and this one here has that one beat by like a couple grades, at least. Are there any notes up in the label that says something? Because I would resubmit this fucking thing. Mm hmm. I'll tell you what, everybody look up, look, look this number up if uh, you get a chance and see what's going on. 
because uh, there's got to be there's got to be more to it. Maybe they're up like there's bent pages or something like that. Bent interior pages. <laughs> something. Whatever, man. I, I That shit don't bother me in the slightest. Yeah, because there's got to be something more to it. If if this comes back, if this is a four. My God, look at that. Oh. That if I like send a... that book in and came back a four, I'd be bullshit. Mm-hmm. Good pickup, man. Good. Uh-oh. God damn it. When I see this, it pisses me off. God damn it. See, I always think maybe this is the type of book that I'll see at a convention or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like these ghosts though are pretty well scoped. I mean, mm-hmm. I've ne- I, I know I've never seen this cover before. So. I've seen it. Yeah, I've gone through this entire like run because there's some good ones in here. What's interesting is all of these sellers are using the uh, official CGC photo mm-hmm. for these books now. Yep. So. All right. What good we book, man. All right. So we're going to do some superhero stuff. We're going to do some mainstream superhero stuff. And the Golden Age. So we've got Superman number 14 from 1942. Classic. Classic cover. You might as well just call him Captain America at this point, man, with this cover. I mean, Jesus. I know, right? This is the, this reminds me of, God, what was that? Those amalgam, not the amalgam, but uh, DC versus Marvel. Or no, it was JLA versus Avengers, where the fourth issue had. Uh, Superman holding Captain America's shield and Thor's yeah. hammer. You know what I mean? <laughs> this reminds me of that. But uh, this is, I mean, 255. This has been a classic cover since forever. So I can imagine there being this many on the census. So 255, 196. I mean, I think the superhero stuff just gets graded no matter what, right? If you've got one, you have this book. You put it. You put it in a slab, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. Yeah. Then it yeah, probably. Look, I mean, look at all the low grade on here. You're talking about half of it below, well, half below five. M O E. What's up? Mo. So, a three point on eBay of Ghost Number Ten sold for five twenty five. Worth it. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, man. I think yeah, I'm starting to think more and more that that uh that that four point of ghost was a really nice deal. So let's take a look at what this thing sold for. So a four point oh CGC wow. four point oh sold for three thousand eight hundred and fifty. Another four point oh, let's take a look and let's see if it stacks up with that other one. Oh my god, no, yeah, <laughs> not in the slightest. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, like, I would say that this was like a three five at least. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty, it's pretty ragged up there. A little, okay, so the. So I believe uh, he, this was a, the ghost number four, or, or rather that ghost four point. Okay, so staple detached. Okay, staple detached top of the front. Heavy spine split left bottom. Okay. All right. You, okay. You can't, you can't see that in the slab at all. Uh, yeah. So that slab is doing the uh, is doing that book justice then. All right. So. Let's take a look at, let's come back to Superman 14. Uh, this thing is really. It's not that bad for a black cover. I mean, you got a, you got that shit going off there in the left corner, but um, it presents very well. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, the image of Superman, the eagle, and the shield, like, that's pretty much all you really need anyway, so. Yeah, what's the back of this thing look like? Let's see. Let's take a look at that back. Red it's Rider, a- man. Mm-hmm. Man, this is uh, ready for Christmas. This has got the Christmas story written all over it. <laughs> you will shoot your eye out. Yeah. 
it's a cool back cover. I mean, just the whole Red Rider thing is pretty mm-hmm. cool. This this back cover, as far as the condition, is pretty much what I expect. Yeah, it's not bad. A little dirty, but you know, but uh, it's good looking. Yeah, it's a great book. So for three three grand, three grand plus. It's probably you're talking about two hundred and fifty on the census, which is pretty high. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Yeah. But I, I thought for that much it was worth talking about. But it's a good cover though. Yeah, beautiful book. All right, what are we doing next? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at you. Okay, so True Life Secrets, number 23, from 1954. Uh, this is a classic romance cover. I forget who did the cover, but uh, let's take a look at that. Oh, wow, that's, a, that's quite a bit. Yeah, more than I would have guessed. Hmm. I was out digging um, the other day, and you know, you have these the, these companies that reprint the Golden Age stuff. Yes, I came across this one. I couldn't leave it behind. It was, yeah, I hear you. It was just too damn cool. All right. And if you look at some of the the insides of these books, I mean, this is the same story, right? Yep. You know, it's pretty. It's pretty racy stuff. Oh yeah, those panels are Good. for 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 the times. Oh, well, hold up, hold up. Oh, oh wow. Okay, for three bucks. <laughs> I mean, how, how can you leave this book behind, man? How, I know, how, right? How... All right. So we had about three sales this week. So we had a raw copy sell for three hundred and sixty-six bucks. Uh, a CGC 6.0 sell for 515 and we had a um, CGC 7.5 sell for 550 Whoa, whoa, whoa. That raw is very fine plus, they're saying? Holy shit, that wouldn't be a bad deal. Yeah. For 366 Son of a bitch. Let's see. But you know what? I, I don't think so. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this raw one at least. I'm not... I think they're off on that grade this looks more i mean it's not bad it's a little faded it looks like yeah it's not very fine plus it's not but it's not bad it's not yeah it's it's looking it looks solid i'll tell you that it's not bad how about the back yeah yeah, it's clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this sale, but, you know, it's just looking a little too dirty for me, especially for that money. The colors just don't pop on this one for some reason. Mm-hmm. I know on the 6.0, this one looks a little bit... Nah. Colors are Colors come off a little bit deeper. Yeah, big time. I know it's like dirtier though. What did it go for this one? 600, 500? Um, okay, so this one sold for 515. Uh, this one sold for 366. It probably still would have gone for the 366 just because it's cheaper. Right. I hear you. It's and it looks cleaner to it looks cleaner compared to the um to the six so but yeah this is a great book reprinted to death so beautiful image i'm not mad at it i'll tell you what let's keep it pushing let's keep it moving Ooh, baby this is looking very golden age-ish so we have mystery men comics number 12 from 1940 uh joe simon cover um let's see 20 on the census total. Hmm. Not bad. And one of them is... What, a nine? nine six? Holy uh, shit. Yikes. Yikes. I'm afraid, yes. of, I'm afraid to see that one in auction. 
that's a that's time machine shit right there, man. Nine, right? Six, give me a fucking break. Come on. My goodness. 1940? I mean, come on. I'm thinking that was that part of that. Um, uh, you remember that promise collection? Yeah, that, that that collection was ridiculous, man. How how high grade those books. If that was being a pedigree, yeah, that book, I mean, that book is stratosphere prices. Mm-hmm. I I got to imagine that was it. So we got a two point five. So you see, two point five sold for eight hundred and thirty seven bucks. Uh, this is turning into the Blizzard Channel. Uh. There's a lot of sales from him that I'm uh, talking about here. Look at that. Look at the condition on this. Actually, I mean, looks a little bit better. To me, this looks better than the 2.5, especially for it being from 1942. I would have I, I had this. I would have pegged this at like a 3.5. Easy, given how lenient they tend to be on older books. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, unless it's detached or split again that we can't see. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I'm seeing the staple here. I'm seeing the staple here. I'm seeing like maybe a staple down there. So, hmm. But overall, it's a good looking book though. Yeah, very good looking book. And you got the and you got that like really golden age ish golden agey face right there. Mm-hmm. I, I can't I can't really describe the face, but <laughs> you, you know, know what I mean? See it, man. Yeah. But yeah, look it got the got the lady in trouble. My man, my man coming to save her. I don't need to save her. So this is uh Blue Beetle. But yeah. Beauty. So this thing sold for $837 after 38 bids. So this was a uh, some pretty high book there. All right. Oh, oh man, I love the Planet Comic stuff, man. Love Look at it. Look at this one. Okay, so we got Planet Comics number 21 from 1942. Here's the thing. There were a ton of Golden Age sales this week, and it was really hard to narrow things down. So I'm just like, uh, let me find the best of the best covers at the very least to talk about. And uh, here we are. But um, look at this. Uh, 54 total on the uh, census. And it looks like there's a nine six. Probably, it, I gotta imagine another promise collection in that nine six. Jesus. And so we had a raw copy sell for nine hundred dollars. So let's see if this thing is worth nine hundred dollars, y'all. Let's get busy. Let's do our. Let's put our detective hats on. Okay, so let's get a um, full body shot here. How does it, how does it looking from the outset? I, I mean, at first glance, it looks it looks fine, but I just don't feel like I'm getting enough detail to really make a. So okay. is that a that that's a really weird wrap, right? So that's the back coming around the front part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got a tear, like a tape tear there or something. Yep. Yeah, we got color lift here. Um, color lift, and this looks like chipping on the spine here. So when you open it up, it'll just be, it'll just be holes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you got holes. It's a pretty big, uh, a pretty big crease right there. Mm-hmm. It looks attached. We don't get a lot of pictures, though. Huh? No, you just basically just get a front and a back, which. OK, so. Seeing as you only get two pictures for this thing to sell for nine hundred dollars, that's impressive. 
I know if I'm selling a book like this, uh, you're getting the front, back, side to side, every mm -hmm. angle, as many interior pages. You know, yeah, so what's happening there is you get in that roll right where the where the cover's coming around the front. Mm -hmm. Look, look at that fanning. So if this thing gets graded, it looks like it's going to wind up in like a magazine slab or something like that. Is that spine? Yeah, unless somebody's going to press it to re to recenter that, but that's uh -oh. risky, risky business. They send in it to Joe. <laughs> okay, so I, it seems okay. Let's let's see if there's a description. Any descriptions? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, nothing to speak of. Which, I mean. Uh, again, for something like this, I would be as descriptive as possible, show as many pictures as possible. You know what I mean? It's just, hmm. Yeah, 900 I think, is an aggressive price on this one, to be honest. I think the seller did well, but mm -hmm. as okay. much as I love it, I think I'm probably out on this one, just given the lack of pictures and, and that role there. Oh, yeah, for sure. But oh, oh, but cover's gorgeous though, gorgeous cover. All right. Oh, look at you. Look at this. This is classic. Okay, so we have True Crime Comics number three from 1943. I should have given a better descriptor um, here as other than just pre cold golden age violent cover. I, I should have put like classic. Um, classic crime cover or something like that but um yeah i was this this just sold uh today this just sold today and uh 50 on the census and that nine four it's got to be the promise collection again <laughs> So we had a raw copy, and this thing was low grade. Sell for four hundred and eighty-two bucks. How low are we talking? Like one oh one five kind of. Okay, so how's it looking from here? In the first glance, this is terrible. The yellow looks good. The reds look good. Okay, you get a little tear down there, but. All right, let's look at that spine. So covers detached. Covers it covers detached at least at well. Is it? Detached? I don't know. I mean, I would... uh, that's hard to tell. That's really hard to tell. I mean, that bottom step looks funky. Look at that. You got that chip missing in the corner, but that's okay. You got the you got the gun maul, and then oh look at that. This is this is very classic right here. Look at that man. You dirty rat. Damn. Yeah. So you're you're in uh you're in Bean Town there. I'm pretty sure you've like, you know, maybe come across a, a few characters. Hmm. Yeah, Whitey Bulger and his crew. Yeah. A few a few characters in you know, in your day, right? Hmm? Uh, yeah, man. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look at that one. Um, that, that looking at the spine from from an angle. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Let's take a look at this right here. Look at that. You see that chunk? Yeah. Yeah. There's some chunks missing. But I don't hate the look. I mean, it, it presents not bad. Do you see the 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 flaking? Yeah. Right there. So yeah. this thing is like probably falling apart. And okay, so you see right here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I, I'm just gonna say that's a detachment at the. Uh, <laughs> she got it she got a secret life yeah it's probably detached look at that man yeah and you got that big crease look at that crease yeah, you don't see it on the front but yeah it's a big mm -hmm. crease I, I appreciate that we're seeing um interior uh we're seeing the cover back cover front you know interior cover at least we're getting that 
Oh, look at that back, man. Big tear. Yeah. But, I mean, for such a classic image, I'm still... I'm st I'm still would be in the market for it. You know what in I mean? In a slab, the book would 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 pop. Mm -hmm. What did it go for again? Five something. It sold for four hundred and eighty-two bucks. Four eighty-two. I mean, you gotta be thinking about it for that price, right? Mm, yeah, man. Just because this is like such a great cover, man. Such a classic cover, so. And I I really hadn't come across sales of this in a while. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention, but, I mean, I'm coming through sales. I've been doing, I've been coming through sales, you know, for, um, for uh, Tuesday's flip side for, like, the last six or so months, and I haven't seen anything. Hmm. Ah, you know what? Hold on. Let's see. Oh, crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. I didn't even, I just didn't even uh, check for that. Look at that. How, so there's going to be an ad on a splash page. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. So, yeah, could be missing a wrap. So that's even more, That pr the price is even more impressive now. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's move this along. Look at this. This I, I just noticed this today. So we've got Strange Tales, number 29 from 1954. Uh, beautiful, like, witch, ghoul, horror cover from Atlas. Uh, let's take a look at that. Census. Yeah, good call on that, Heroes Reborn. Good, great call. All right, so uh, 37 total on the census. Seems like the majority of them are 4.0s. And, oh, this is why I threw it up on the list. This is why I threw it up there. So we got a CGC 5.5 that sold for damn near a 1000 bucks, Damn near $1,000. Okay. You uh, you like this cover, Ben? I'm trying to digest it a little bit. I think it's good. I think it's good. I don't think it's great. Um, Especially for a thousand dollars. Yeah, I, it's just not for whatever reason. It's not. It's not you know. It's not making me go crazy. I mean, that witch looks a little bit like a dude. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I don't know what it is, but uh, the colors are awesome in it. But um, yeah, I'm not sure it's really hitting me or, in, or where I'd like it to. Right, especially for the money. It's a good look. I mean, this is a nice copy. It's it's a beautiful yellow golden ager. You know, yeah. you don't see a lot of yellow on a cover like this. You know what I'm saying? So, if I've got a grand to drop, I, I'm just not buying this book. Not that there's not that there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, I told I completely understand. Um, yeah, I, a book like this I wouldn't necessarily be into, but for the price, I thought it was worth talking about. Yeah, I mean, somebody obviously wanted it. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's let's keep this bad boy moving. Ooh, this is a favorite of mine. Eerie number three from nineteen fifty one. This is a Wally Wood cover look at look at that lady look yeah, at this, her yeah, now you're speaking my language this one um mm -hmm. okay so the last book was a five five and that sold for a damn near a thousand dollars and this one let's see let's take a look at that census uh dr strange prototype on that strange tales Okay. Okay. Uh, looks like the highest grade is a 9.0. Okay. Not too many copies on the census. And we had a 5.0 sell for $619. So 
I have to imagine that uh, you're all over this more so than that Strange Tales, right? Yeah. Look I, I, I'm on board here, man. I am on board with this book. Look at look at that. I'm I'm digging the jacket. Look at that. The jacket is hot. You got them got them headlights just brr, brr. what's good. I think fashion wise, man, she was ahead of her time. Mm-hmm. I'm feel I'm feel I'm I'm digging the outfit. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, look at this. Beauty. Um let's take a look at that back. Not bad, not bad. Mm -hmm. You can see like a little diagonal crease, but who cares about that? Yeah, man, Wally Wood. I'm, th you know what, man? I don't see a lot of Wally Wood, like gold, or just notice a lot of. Um, yeah, I mean, he's Wild got, he, I mean, that, that whole world of wood, right, stuff that Dave Stevens is going crazy with lately, that was all like a tribute to him and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's got some good stuff out there. No, no question about that. Does this book seem undervalued? Because uh, like a 5.0 should be, uh, like for this cover, this is a hell of a cla hella classic cover. This should be like at least a grand off a of general principle. Shouldn't it be? Yeah, it feels. I mean, given where I see some shit sell, this seems um, really uh, fairly priced. Yeah, I would have been. I would be. I would have been in on this if I'd seen it. Right. I totally agree. Ugh, beauty. I'm feeling you. I can savor. I can savor y'all. All right. What we got next? Oh. Now let's uh, let's jump into some modern age here. Okay, so uh, Mr. Longshort sent me this. Uh, this is Elephant Men number thirty-one. So this is a one in fifteen J. Scott Campbell variant. Now these books, you know, the orders on these books at this time frame were super low. I think they're in the six to seven thousand range. Okay. Um. Uh, so you know. Very, very few stores were qualifying for these for these ratios, and this was back in the in the day. You know, you're talking about that you know 2010, 11, 12 time period where yeah. stores weren't chasing them either, right? They just they hadn't blown up. So mm -hmm. all of these, I think Campbell's got three or four um, Elephant Men ratios um, that are all super hard to find. This price blew me away, though. Yikes. Okay, so. Eight Look at that six. census count. Look at that census count, man. Look three at nine eights. So even <laughs> eight total, three of them at 9.8. It's fucking crazy. Okay, so we had a CGC 9.8. Speaking of 9.8s, we have a CGC 9.8 sell for $1,400. Man. I'll tell you what, let's just take a look at it just to get a better just to get a better idea of what's going on with this cover. If, if this book is worth fourteen hundred dollars to you, beautiful image. I will say that. I don't know if I would pay it, but I don't think the price is too far off, right? Campbell was one of the most collected modern artists, hands mm -hmm. down. And it's just, these books are super scarce. Super, super scarce. I know. I've never seen this cover before. So, and it's weird because, like, you think you've seen, especially when it comes to Campbell, you think you've seen like everything that he's done, but no, not really. Not really. So, there's always one more you haven't seen, right? It's uh, just an eight on the census, three and 9.8. Wow. I mean, the image is like beautiful. Is she wearing any draws? Look at that. <laughs> well, there you go, man. That's why it's good. It's <laughs> That's why it's so expensive. I hear you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
But yeah, you go, that, you, you're, you're at a show. You see this thing raw for three hundred. You pulling the trigger? Uh, uh, man, ah, crap. I, I'd have to get them down to it to maybe two. You know what? I'd have to see what nine sixes are going for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, it's it, so damn rare. I I, mm-hmm. I think I would. I mean, I'd take a close look at it, but I think I would. I think I'd pull 300. I, I think I'd pull the trigger on this thing. It would have to be immaculate. And if it weren't immaculate, then I'd ha- just have to see what 9.6 is sell for. You know what I'm saying? And then kind of take it from there to see if it would be worth it. But yeah, I think a- you could move the raw for 500 pretty easy. Woo. Really? I think so. Wow. On this book, it's just so damn rare. Mm. You know what? Yeah, like I said, I'd never seen it before, so. All right. Oh, look at this one. Look at this book uh, that's here. A beauty. Okay, so this book here is Transformers, All Hail Megatron. Uh, this is the uh, this is from 2008. This is the Apocalypse Comics Edition variant. Batman, Killing Joke, Cover Swipe. Uh, this is a book that I've been after for quite some time, but I just never, I, I don't even think I've come close to this book. You know what I mean? I've never, I've never seen it. Maybe just because it's, um, it's like, what is it, a store exclusive or something like that? That, you know, probably that's why if this were like a ratio variant, I'm thinking maybe, you know you know do to do on up to a store and find it but not probably s- such short order that you know but let's take a look let's see what's on the census 47 total oh we got some nine nines man oh, oh wow okay all right yeah god i can't oh wow all right so with that in mind, let's take a look at the price. So we've got a raw copy. That's sold, yeah, that's sold for 480 bucks. I'll tell you what. Let's take a quick look at this. And see if this thing is worth. And... 480 you're really I mean it's so damn ra- I get it I love Transformers but I'd rather put this money in like a sealed Transformers toy you know what I mean yeah well, I mean what, what 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 was the print run on this thing do we know ooh no I should have looked that up. As cool as this is, I think I'm still grabbing, and I know I'm the minority, the the, the Campbell Elephant Man, just because that book is so freaking damn scarce. If I had the choice at a show, similar price. Uh, let's see if we can. I'm thinking. I'm trying to see if there, if, if I can like maybe look up a print run or something like that, but it, probably not. But damn. But this is a great cover, though. All right. All right. Oh, and you get like a number 12 to go with it, too. So, all right, cool. All right. Now, this is a book. I actually have this book, and I was actually excited to see this, um, to see a sale for this. So we've got Fantastic Four number 583. 
So this is a 1 in 15 Art Adams variant featuring Dr. Doom. I like this book a lot. This book Did actually... What, what you you saying? This one, long story short, a few weeks ago, I mean, yeah, no more than a, ah, ago, a little while ago, we talked about this one. Ah, gosh, I want to say I'm. I want to say I sent it to you. Maybe I feel like we might have, but man, we've done so many shows now. I can't. I can't keep it. Keep it straight. Yeah, I know, uh, right? I love this cover, though, man. Uh, big, big, big art Adams fan. Okay, so let's take a look at the census here. 24, wow. 15, 9, 8, and 4, 4, 9, 8 signature series. Okay. You know what's funny about this? This book came out in 2010. And this looks like something that could have come out in like the past couple years. Yeah, I mean, this is what he's been cranking out. This with this kind of vibe, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this thing looks at least ten years ahead of its time, as far as the subject, you know, as far as like the composition and the art style goes. And we had a raw copy sell for sixty bucks. Nice. Yeah, it's not too much. I wanted to say about it, but I'm just happy to see see it sell for. Uh, you know, for sixty dollars, and there was a sale earlier. I think about, I think like in February, for sixty dollars as well. I don't remember this on Long Story since I've been watching. Oh, uh, 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 uh. well, Bruce, uh, you know, Bruce has the official record, so I'm not going to argue with him. Yeah, about. yeah, we might have to like run it by ye to see. <laughs> Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I like this book a lot. I had, I had high hopes and I think once we get closer to something doom wise in the MCU, this book can really jump. I don't, I don't, he doesn't really have like a ton of like variants where he's like, just, you know, where he's like the. Or like any like super hot variants uh, outside yeah. of because you have the Doom the Doom uh, series that came out a few years ago. You have the uh, Simone Bianchi variant and the um, damn and like a couple other variants. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, no, he. There were a few good ones from that Doom series, if I remember. Mm -hmm. I mean, the one in ten was really badass. I forget who did it, but um, yes. Um, uh, uh yeah. salvador la roca maybe M yeah maybe maybe um but yeah this is also from that era near 2010 where ratio variants are mm -hmm. you know they're not they're not everywhere i mean it feels like they're, they're they're tougher to come by so this is a this is a good this is a good one hell yeah very happy to see this all right let's see what's what's next okay oh yeah Creature number one from 1977. Okay, and this, so, this is credited most often as his first work, right? Mm hmm. Early Dave Stevens. Um, so, uh, Carl Taylor, Dave Stevens cover. Wow. 18. Wow. So, not a lot going on here. Not a lot going on as far as the census goes. No, but half a 9.8, which is, um, which is kind of surprising. Mm hmm. But okay, so take a look at this. So an eight five CGC eight five sold for five hundred dollars. I got to be honest, man. I'm that given what 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 his shit is going for. Mm hmm. I would, I would have guessed it would have gone for more. This I know, book right? Up a lot. Yeah, that's. But it was a buy it now. And somebody okay. did jump on it, so I, you know. So if this thing maybe went to auction, it would have uh, sold for more, you think? Right now, 100%. Mm -hmm. I mean, although, you know, this is not one that I'm seeing people talk about in the Dave Stevens, uh, you know, um, 1974. Wow. Yeah. Dave Stevens was trying to find his way. 
but I like it though. Uh, I've been looking for one. And this uh and this here is kind of is clean on the back, so nothing filled in. So I mean, you know, just something to look out for. Creature number one from uh 1977. Someday, man, I'm gonna get my hands on them. Although <laughs> I don't know where Dave Stevens shit is going right now. Maybe I'm not. But you know what? This this is easily the type of thing that if you if if you dig uh long and deep enough, that you you might come across it. You know what I mean? Somebody will have it, and they'll have it cheap. It'll just yeah. go, what, what is this? What it, you know? It just it, it looks like a pamphlet. Here you go. Here you go. You know <laughs> what I mean? So there. You go. If it's not uh, Silver Age Marvel, they don't give a shit. Uh, right. All right. What are we doing next? Ooh. Oh man. Yeah, this is a book I do not have. I've been on the hunt for it, but. Uh, some someday. All right. So this is Air Fighters number two. This is from 2010. So this is a cover C variant. Um, I could not find any CGC data on this, like at all, at all. I looked on the census. I didn't see anything. But this is a beautiful uh, Mark Sparaccio. Sparaccio. I'd go Sparaccio. Okay. Mark Sparaccio cover. This is this is nice. Yeah, we talked about this on Long Story Short for sure. Um, and it set off a little bit of a fury around this book. Um, they had some. It was Moonstone Publishing. They had some on their um, on their website, so I went and bought it. I bought one, and they canceled my fucking order. Um, like you know, they, they said it was shipped, and they canceled the order. Now the um, Yi also um, bought one after me. Okay. And he he ended up getting his. Really? Uh, yeah. So this and was was, uh, this was retail. You could buy this retail. Uh yeah yeah. So this was uh, yeah directly from Moonstone. Um, they were selling it. How long ago? When when did this happen? Yeah. This was um late last year. Wow. Right when we talked about it on the show. Mm. Um, you know I what? I don't know. I I must have had my head up my ass. Because I'm thinking maybe I would have bought, you know, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, this is uh, this is a good looking book. Damn. So I just I just missed the boat on this one. OK, never mind me. All right. So we had a raw copy sell for fifty six dollars. I mean, you know, it's not an outrageous price, but still. No, it's man, nice that's to, respectable. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just nice to see one turn up. I think my my my, uh, my canceled order was like four bucks. So, oh Jesus! That always sucks. All right, let's see what what's next. Oh damn it! This oh, book. god damn it! Yeah, a couple of I've been after this book for what ten years? Now nah, I want to say at least eight. At least eight years. So we've got Invincible Iron Man number uh, 512. So this is the 1 in 50 Venomized Larry Stroman variant. Where's Larry Stroman at? I don't know, man. I haven't I haven't seen his name show up anywhere recently. I know, right? But uh, yeah, seeing him do this variant, man. I, I Like, this is the type of book I could have swore I was just going to be able to... Just, you know, a find because there, there was a time because there was a store that I went to that was out of town and they had variants galore and they were just like, like maybe 10 bucks or five. Oh, this is, you know, this is where I found two copies of um, Teen Titan 75 for like cover price. You know <laughs> what I mean? It, 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 and it was just like it was just there. It was just there. Like no big deal in the in their long boxes. But um yeah, I, I've never, I don't even think I've come close to finding this book. But let's see, uh, nine, how many on the census total? 90? 90, yeah. Only 23 and in, uh, in 9.8. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I was surprised at the sale of this book. We, we talked about this book not too long ago mm -hmm. on the show. It, it blows me away what this thing goes for. 
So a raw copy sold for $473. Very strong. Okay, so what's interesting is that you have some Venomized variants that, that are holding their value, and then you have some that kind of aren't. You know what I mean? That are falling kind of like in that $100 range. I mean, I feel like a lot of them from this original Venomized era have done mm-hmm. right. Didn't they do it again shortly after this? They did, and yeah. it's they, they they really messed up on that. That yeah. was a mess. That was awful. Those are those oh. are terrible. Yeah, but yeah, there's there's a charm to these, to the to this um to these like 2012 Venom variants. Yeah, there, there, there's um. I did this original vintage of these things are all, I think they're all kind of hanging in pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. They're, um, they are like when they're up for sale, you know, they, they get bought up. But, uh, I noticed this one, of course, the amazing Spider-Man and like, maybe like a handful of others that are really, really up there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And some are just, you know, they're they're still valuable, but they're still, you know, they're like fading a little bit, maybe. Yeah, because I know I've found I've been able to find some and you know, sell them off. And the ones that I found, like they go for like around a hundred bucks. Still still respectable, but to see this one sell for 473. You know this one is definitely hard to find. Yeah, man. So never seen it in the flesh. Mm-hmm. Beauty. All right. Let's take a look at this one. <laughs> okay, so this is Blade Sins of the Father. Uh, this is from 1998. This is a movie promo. So you got the Wesley Snipes photo. And this book here is um is made it's a um it's a newspaper print cover so if you put some tape on this thing it is a wrap yeah don't okay. don't get like you can't you can't let anything happen to this to this cover okay so um 53 on the census hmm okay and, and these were given out during at the movie right when it, when yep. it came yeah. yep yeah movie theater promo yep And we had a CGC 9.8 sell for 310 bucks. I think that's respectable. And the fact that, yeah. you know, to get a 9.8 on something like this, eh, that's, that seems impressive to me. Yeah, big time. Yeah, I'm not I, mad I, at that. You know, if, you get, if, if, if the new Blade movie comes out mm-hmm. and it's good, and it's not what they were talking about. <laughs> Some of the original pitches almost sound so ridiculous. Like, if it's just like a good kick-ass Blade movie, then you know, this is the this is the kind of book that can can catch fire. Fingers crossed. I mean, did you hear like what one what one of the pitches was? It was it was like um, <laughs> the pitch was it's not even a joke was like he was going to be like a secondary character and it was going to be about the women in his life teaching him life lessons from all of these things. I'm like, who the fuck would want to watch? <laughs> I'm like, who who would think that's a good idea? Like, I don't, just make an action movie where he's killing vampires. It's You don't have to overthink this shit too much, man. Like, I don't know. I it's don't not know. rocket science. I, and uh, I think the other one I heard is that it's going to be set in the 30s. Yeah, 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 which I don't hate. I mean, listen, I, I get why people are a little upset about that, but I don't mind that. I mean, you know, he's a vampire. He, he can live forever. It could be cool to have a period piece yeah. in New Orleans in the 30s. I, I don't. I mean. Yeah, that I'm not, yeah, I'm not necessarily mad at that concept, but it just seems like they're just trying to, like, make things. These, uh, these that, movies aren't made to, make, to win Oscars, man. Just go out yeah. there and just let them kick some ass. Like, I don't know. Yeah, this seems like they're making things more uh, difficult than what they should be. Yeah. But yeah, I love this cover. I, I remember like searching for it and then finally I think I might have like maybe one or two copies or something like that. But yeah, very happy to have this. 
All right. What's next? Oh, look at this. Oof. So She-Hulk number one from 2014. So this is the one in 100 Sia Owen variant. Where has she been? She's done a few things um, recently, but nowhere. I mean, she was everywhere back in this time period, like putting out some real bangers. I mean, I, I uh, I'm a fan, but um, yeah, I don't know. She's just kind of kind of fallen off the the radar a little bit, but um, but she's but she has done a few books. Um, I, I can't remember what, but I just remember seeing her name every time I see it. I'm like, oh, she's still in the game a little bit. Yeah, I I mean, I, it seems like Peach Momoko has like uh, taken over for her. Oh, man, Peach is tough. Um, when she's good, she can be really good, but like mm-hmm. she just feels overworked. Like so much of her stuff just doesn't do anything for me. Right. Um, but every once in a while, she'll put out a real banger. But but it's like one out of every twenty five books now or something. <laughs> it seems. Yeah, it seems like there was a time when Peach like could literally do no wrong. And now, yeah. and now it's just like, uh, like it, 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 yeah, this ain't hitting. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. But, um, but yeah, I remember, um, you know, Sion was doing, you know, a bunch of Aspen books back in the day. They were all beautiful. Like they're all just stunning books. She had her own title. Was it Lola XX or whatever it was? Yeah. Um. Yeah. She, she was. Um. She was kicking ass. There's something about this cover, though. Like, you got the color, like, the contrast in color, and then she's just, like, front and center. You got these guys in the background, and then you got this yellow. It's just like, this thing pops. Like, this thing is literally grabbing my eyeballs right now. So, yeah, this is, like, this is pretty good. I like it. I like it. 35, wow. Mm Mm-hmm. So 35 on the census, uh, 31, nine, eights and four signature nine, eights. Hmm. Okay. And we had a raw copy sell for $215. Hmm. Not too much. I really wanted to say about it, but I just, I really like this cover. I remember searching for it and just kind of going, nah, I gave up. I won this book on an auction for like 60, 70, 80, I forget, something in that range mm-hmm. in 2019, maybe late 2018. And um, I never got it. They sent me like another book and it got to a whole fucking thing. And anyways, never got it. I was pissed. Bro, you are filled with comic horror stories. There was a window there, man, where <laughs> um, I was having a run of shit luck. And then I won... And then I won um, the Ji Hung Lee Ghost Spider one in one hundred uh-huh. for two hundred bucks in an auction, and I was fucking on. Uncl- I'd wanted that book for so long, and uh, uh, raw, and uh, you know that was a steal because it was going for way more than that. And then when I got it, I got they sent a second book along with it, a Clinton Crane um, Ghost Spider book that was going for close to a hundred. So. Um, you know, that was when uh, I think that was when the, the, the curse was broken. Right on. Just like uh, Cleveland in championships. Broke the uh, 50, 52 year curse. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I tell you what. Let's get into some notable sales. OK, I want to see. What sold very recently? And let's take a look at this foam. So we got a foam tin. This thing just, uh, this auction just ended today. And uh, we got a foam tin that sold for two grand. So $2,025. Two Look at that. grand raw. Raw. Fuck, oh, man. You've raw. got this, right? Yes, I do. I've got a 9.6. I don't know how the hell I got a 9.6 of this. Like it should like I I I don't even admit this thing should not be an Isaacs, but uh, somehow I did. I love this. I love this book so much. But uh, yeah, and I got another one graded, and it came back a, it came back a six five. 
Six five. Uh, mm-hmm. This is. You know, it's amazing what a good uh, TV show or movie will do for the value of comics, right? I mean, this has mm-hmm. clearly been boosted from X Men '97, right? Yep. Um, we forget when shit is good, how much it supports these things, and when shit is shit, like how much it destroys it. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is so cool! I've always wanted one of these. Yeah, for the longest time, you got like a little bit of staple rust here, but you know, it's still a pretty good looking book. It's so because I remember that time. This was however many years ago. I want to say like probably 2015, 2016, when Foom really started to hit. You know, it started with Foom number two, mm-hmm. with that uh, Wolverine prototype. And then, like, everybody else kept checking in, checking up, you know, kept um, deep diving into Foom. And then this book popped up as being the, I guess, first technical appearance of the uh, all new, all different X Men. And then, you know, then it just kind of, this book just kind of took on a life, life of its own. Yeah. Yeah. But, Too grand, man. That ooh. is a life of its own. This is a beautiful book. I'm I'm always on Foom Watch, so I was I was happy to see that. I'll tell you what, let's take a look at what do I what do you want to take a look at next? Ooh, I want to see this. I want to see about this. What do you think about this? So more fun comics. Uh number 46, 7 0 restored. Fourteen hundred bucks. Hmm. So and I believe this sold for I think I had it sold for a grand. It sold for it sold for a thousand dollars. Wow. So the restoration includes small amount of color touch on cover, pieces added to cover, tape edge, a top edge trimmed. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it looks super clean, man. Jesus. So we got a... It's not pre-Batman. It's just like a couple months after Batman. But still, for it, like any book from the 30s. You know, it could be mm-hmm. like... It could be December 1939. And I'm still going to be like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? So what are you would be more inclined to buy? A green label or a purple label? Green. All the way. Yeah. Always green, always green. Like that purple label is just too. Like it'd have to be like the rarest of the rare. Yeah, I'm and, with you. And the most sought after of the most sought after. Mm. But yeah, I just thought this was like for a grand for a purple label like that. I thought that was impressive. Let's take a look at this. Oh, man. Look at this sale. Such so you've got. Book. Yeah, man. Showcase 79. First appearance of Dolphin. First freaking appearance of Dolphin. A high-grade copy sold for $400. Wow. I remember for a time, this book was really hard to find. Yeah. uh, um, Someone sent me one for free. Her name's Tina. Clever username. Yay Uh or nay. On Instagram, yeah, I was like, I'm like, don't send me this. And she's no, I want you to have it. I found it for cheap. It's banged up, but um, but yeah, she's like, you know, enjoy the shows, and uh, I want you to have it. So, right thank you, Tina, if you're watching, does this look like a nine two to you? Mm-hmm. It's hard. It's always yeah. A dirt. Probably not. I mean, when, once you get it's, it, it's, it's a nice book, but I don't think it's a nine two. Yeah, but I'm always, I'm always impressed by what the what Showcase seventy nine goes for. That's just a beautiful comic book, man. Mm-hmm. All right, man. This freaking book here. So, Amazing Spider Man, Renew Your Vows, Campbell variant, a raw copy. This thing went for $310. Jesus Christ, man. 
you know what? I was looking through like my old um, emails from my comic shop, and it turns out I bought this freaking book <laughs> when it, the week it came out. <laughs> And I'm just like, and I, and then like, it started something in my brain, like, oh yeah, I did buy this book. And I think, and I just like probably sold it like a couple weeks later, but yeah, I, 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 I mean, it's a good book, but I personally just don't get it, but some people do. I know a buddy of mine, he's, he had been like uh, my buddy, Mike, he had been on the ladder, basically just upgrading this book, you know, from a nine, six, and then finally from the nine, six to finally getting a nine, eight of this thing. But uh, it's good. I've never loved it, but it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, nice. Mary Campbell, I mean, Campbell with uh, Mary Jane and Peter right now are hot as hell. Like those, those ones that he released where he was like reimagining uh, uh -huh. 601, 606, yes. and 607. Sets of those are going for 400 bucks. The buy in was on the unsigned ones like 85 bucks or something. So those things have really hit another level. Yeah, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing like the listings for nine eights of that, uh, of the reimagining of 601. And I'm like, always too late. You know what I mean? Like, I, cause I'm just like shit, for what two fifty or something like that. I would have been all over that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that book's gonna hang in there. If you look mm -hmm. at what um, the Black Cat version of that cover is done, and it took mm -hmm. a while. I mean, that book goes for quite a bit, and you know, you know, there's three thousand of them, which sounds like a lot for an exclusive, but not for Spider-Man collectors, um, right? But those are gonna end up in collections, and there's not gonna be that many of them in time. People definitely bought probably because you could buy two. People mm -hmm. bought one to flip, so like there's going to be a steady flow for a while. But over time, those will those will get absorbed. I think now Ugh. he's going to do a version cover of it somewhere, San Diego. So you know, you know <laughs> I guarantee he's going to do a version of that six hundred one. Uh. Oh man, this fucking book again is. Uh, Sold for four hundred and six dollars. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I just something to just something to look at really quick. Nothing I wanted to talk about for too long. But um, here's a book that I thought that was really interesting. Look at this. So Ultimate Fallout Five, Georgievic variant, a nine eight, sold for five hundred and seventy five dollars. I can't think about these books. I can't fucking think about these books. I had them all. I sold them way too fucking cheap. I just, you know, I got to block these out of my mouth. Oh, book. really? Yeah. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's how I am when, uh, when you talk about that freaking Captain Marvel 6 variant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What you know about this? Oh, I got this, man. Okay, so this is the Mighty Thor 1 second print uh, movie photo variant. I like this. I like, I, you know what? I don't think I've ever noticed this book. Yeah, I've got, I've, I've got this one. I think actually Ye may have sent me one of these too. Um, I've love, been loving the, the MCU photo variants from the get go, mm -hmm. um, but I've got, I've got this one. And what I'd like, so. So you got Natalie Portman, which I don't, I never noticed uh, another Natalie Portman like MCU cover before. Hmm. Uh, I gotta chew on that one a little bit. Have you? Have you? I'm trying to think if she was on any of the Prelude books. You know that. So so not. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking about that one. I don't know. I know these two are on covers of their own. Yeah, those images right there. Yes, mm -hmm. they've got their own cover. They those are on. Yeah, those. they they are on second prints of their own, but uh, definitely not her. Yeah, I just I'm just trying to think: was she on any of the the Dark World Prelude books or the Rich? I don't. I can't. I can't picture them off the top of my head. So I so for thirty nine dollars, this seems uh, pretty decent. 
This seems yeah. decent. Like if I came across this at a show for, I don't know, 25, 30. I'd, I'd, I'd grab it. I got, like I said, all of these are starting to um, get gobbled up. I, Star Wars doesn't count. O- only MCU books. Only, <laughs> only, only Marvel books. I'm pretty sure she's like on a ton of Star Wars stuff. Yeah, she's, she definitely is. Uh, something to touch on really quick. Um, this is a book I had before. Uh, A-Force number one, uh, the Adam Hughes, the Medusa variant, sold for $134. Did you ever have this? I think I've got it. Yes, I I, I did, and I do somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Just a good-looking cover. Yeah, I like it. I think we have, like, a couple more. Um. Ooh. Okay, so Spook number 23 uh a cgc 3.0 um sold for 700 dollars. so and this is an lb cole cover lb cole horror cover look at this it's cool it's cool it sucks that you got this uh tear like right above the skull's head but overall not bad not bad for a 3.0 Probably if the, if it wasn't for this, it'd probably be probably be a much higher grade. Yeah, Terra's in a terrible place. Awful place. I I it might it, like it should be like you know like somewhere around yeah. here. Yeah. All the but, places you could end up. Why there? But I like this cover a lot, though, man. I I know I've never seen it before, but beautiful cover. All right, oh, so we've yeah. got. Look at you this. Gotta one. be fucking kidding! Oh man, this I, sold for four hundred bucks. I just grabbed two of these. Well, not just, but um, uh-huh. a little while ago, for twenty bucks a piece. Okay, so Iron Man Nine. Um, this is the uh, photo movie, moody movie photo cover. Um, so what, what is this from? Iron Man Three. Yeah. I love, okay. I love I love this cover, man. I think that it's really good. Yeah. So this CGC nine eight sold for four hundred dollars. I'm telling is- you, man. These, these these Marvel photo variants, they're I think they're just going to over time continue to climb. Just as nostalgia grows for that original run of these Marvel movies, I just think these are all gonna are all gonna continue to like just steadily climb. What the hell do I know? But that's just my gut feeling on these. For whatever reason, this is probably my favorite of the photo variants. Of all of them, really? Yeah, I, there's something about it. I just love it. Wow. This thing is so cool to me. I mean, mine's definitely the the Black Widow, but um, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's try it. I got it right here. This is my favorite. <laughs> I, I had that book too. There was a time when that book was so hard to find. Oh so, god, yeah. So hard. Even like on the internet, you couldn't find it anywhere. I don't even know how I found it. I remember I found it and I told you this. I was at a show. Uh-huh. I was walking out. It wasn't a good show. I didn't didn't find much. I see it on the wall for 75 bucks. Like, hmm. And then I'm walking out. I'm getting my car. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, why didn't I buy that? Like, what? Like, I like, I don't know. It was like my brain shut off as I was leaving or something. Oh, this is cool. All winners comics number two. So it's missing a page. And it's still sold for twelve hundred dollars. A CGC three point five green label. So, uh, see, this doesn't. I don't know what it is. If I'm buying this book and I'm, I'm looking at this like a missing page. I don't know why. It just doesn't bother me. I really? And I, I know it probably should bother me more than it mm-hmm. does. But like, 
if I'm buying this book for that visual, a missing page like just doesn't phase me. I know it should, but I it's incomplete. You. But I like this, but uh, so it just makes me wonder what this thing would go for if it were complete. You know what I mean? A healthy amount more. I mean, for sure. Oh yeah. And let's take a look at this blob. First appearance of blob. Look at that. A 6.5. CGC 6.5 for X-Men 3 for $999. Wow. No love for the blob. I would guess early X-Men first appearance. Not great. Yeah, this is, dude, this is number three. And Blob, as far as like comic fans, it's kind of like a household name, right? Yeah, I mean, if you remember uh, Pride of the X Men, mm -hmm. um, Blob featured uh, prominently in that. And let's do a couple. Oh, I'm going to talk. I'm going to look at this one. Exciting Comics number 62. So good. So Bondage good. cover. So this this raw copy sold for two hundred and ninety three dollars. So good. These airbrush covers. Damn. That's not Schomburg, is it? No, I don't think so. Ah, shoot. I don't think it is. I mean, he had a lot of stuff that looked like that, but. Is it? Maybe it. It's got. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What number was it? I can look it up. Number 62. It says pencils by Ralph Mayo, but it doesn't specifically mention the cover. Okay. Damn, this thing is a beauty. So for if I see this at a convention for 300 bucks, man. It's coming home. Mm-hmm. Coming home. For Shag it all. Hmm. I'll tell you what, let's look at this one. Planet Comics number 61. We got Ray Girl. We got a ray gun girl. Look at that. Flying ray gun girl. So what did this thing sell for? 241 bucks. Fucking A. For real? Wow. Wow. And she's <laughs> barefoot doing it? Look at you. You doing it. Look at you. Doing the damn thing. I've looked at this book. So, I mean, not this mm -hmm. specific one, but at this book many times. 240 how the 241 son of a bitch that's a good deal damn is that a tear there on the spine though is that, is that what's is that yeah yeah it? there's something going on right here i wish okay. there were more photos but yeah that, okay. maybe that that's a gorgeous even image so. though even mm -hmm. so and i oh you know what let me look at this one because i've been this thing has been in my folder forever tormented number two Pre code from 1954. You like this cover? Yeah, I just don't understand all the flying trapeze. Like, how many, how many people were doing this trapeze work back in the day? But uh... I got to imagine. Yeah, I got to imagine like circuses and trapezes were like a big deal, like in the early 1900s. I got to yeah, imagine. I guess that's a form of entertainment, right? I mean, it yeah. Was... Hardly any TV. You only had, you know, probably had, you had movies, but, you know, you wanted to go out and see some live entertainment, then here you go. Circus is coming to town. Mm-hmm. Some death-defying shit. I like it. I do like the cover quite a bit. And this sold for three fifty-five. Very nice. 
All right. I believe that is it. All right. I thank you guys for watching me. We're going to get this in in under an hour and a half. And uh, greatest show on earth. I know you're referring to the circus, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, everybody that's watching, uh, thank you so much. I think we, we've been doing this for like two months or so. Yeah. If you count like the, uh, the test runs, it's got to yeah. be coming up on three months, two and a half, three months. Yeah, man. We're keeping it consistent. So um, I thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. I never know how to end these things, but thank you so much for the super chat to M O M O E. Thank you so much for that, for that super chat. And we will see you next week. Oh, also um, long story short this week, right? Thursday. Thursday, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern on nearing Nerdvana. And I, we, sh and Dino CEO should be seeing CEO and I should be doing Tuesday's flip side on tales from the flip side. So, uh, look out for that. And, uh, we're going to circle back around here on Sunday night with another hot book alert live. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you later. Peace. All right, everybody. Peace.